So hello everyone and welcome to a new Sunday, a new, a new streaming time with D&D. Today uh, it's going to be a special special uh, session uh, since we are a few guys short. Uh, one of my players will run his own special side side adventure. Uh, so we all rolled uh, made uh, made new characters. Uh, mine is kind of special because uh, I rolled both the race for it, a uh, random race. I rolled a random class, and I also rolled my stats and my archetype for it. And uh, the play uh, the character I'm gonna play in this special adventure is a tabaxi uh, ranged fighter yeah so i was kind of lucky <laughs> rolling a dex uh, based uh, uh, race and also i got the the right kind of class so when i rolled the stats and everything it all turned out pretty well actually we'll wait a little bit longer just to i'd like to um have him here for the intro so uh the dungeon master for uh, this uh special game uh, game is persuane uh also known as ash in the real world he plays a fighter in my campaign And this will also be his first time done, uh, being a dungeon master on Roll20. So I'm kind of excited to see uh, where this goes. And we also started at level 4. Not from level 1, from level 4. So uh, we are prepared to be meat grinded, probably. But uh, I'm. I really looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I do. Let's see what he does. He has been GMing uh, Dungeons and Dragons on tabletop, so he's not completely new to being a dungeon master. But uh, on Roll Twenty, he's he's totally new. So he he's in a learning curve. So Valley, you were playing a monk, monk cleric. Monk cleric. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> a very emo monk cleric. Did you pick the class on your own, or do you rolled for it? Oh, I picked the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, the only way you can have an emo monk cleric is to go long death and grave. Long death and grave, okay. Because it's all about death. Oh. And suffering. I, I'm all about hunting and uh, trapping. You heard that I rolled for like everything except the equipment on this character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was so lucky. So the archetype I rolled for him is champion. I went. Yeah. Uh, did you see the link uh, on uh, Roll20 I uh, put up uh, yesterday? Um... It was to the Unearthed Arcana spell uh, list. I gave you, like, uh, on your private chat, too. Uh, 
a name on a very cool spell for warlocks. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah, that's just awesome. I, I think uh, that would suit you perfectly. <laughs> There was one I wanted that was Unearthed Arcana, but it never made it into a spell slot, a spell list. It was um, called Kiss of Mephistopheles. And it uh, meant that every time you hit with an Eldritch Blast, you had the option of using a fireball. Ooh. Oh my I, god. I think it was like you only had so many um, rounds of it a day, mm-hmm. but it was just... I. You know, I put so much into Eldritch Blast, and it was so useful at level five. Uh, there yeah. are, well, there are several spells uh, on this list that's not in uh, either Sanitars or uh, uh, the Player's Handbook. Uh, Pup, uh, Puppet is one of them. Uh, Guiding Hand, I think, is also one of them. Yeah, but none of that stuff's um, uh, adventurous. Yeah, it's uh, not official. Yeah, the, but this is an old. This is like two from two thousand seventeen. So, yeah. So some of them are uh, official. Yeah, some of them made it through playtesting. Yeah, some like the yeah. Kiss of Mephistopheles one. I was uh, hoping that would be. Uh, Toll the Dead, I think. Yeah, maybe. Toll the Dead is one of them. Is from uh, the uh, uh, Santar's cleric domain spells. Also, for strike. Yeah. Also, um, uh, feral strike. Uh, uh, Zephyr strike uh, is in Santars. Primal Se- Primal Savagery is also in Santars. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a list from like 2017. Most of, I think, most of the ones that they were going to introduce have made it through. Yeah. Are you ready to go, Mister? Yeah. All right. Nice. Cool. Then let us begin. Okay. So you find yourselves. You wake up on the deck of a ship it is freezing cold as you look out over the railings you see a sea of gray rolling mist you are on an airship high high above the mountains as you look out you see mountain peaks slowly making their way through the cloud cover like huge rocks in a sea Behind you, you hear footsteps. You turn around to see a purple cloaked mage. You cast your mind back a few days to when you met this man at the yawning portal in Waterdeep. And he hired you. He requested your services to come up here, deep into the mountains, to the fortress of a group of frost giants. The derelict fortress of a group of frost giants the mage speaks hey so um uh so we're almost there and uh when we get there you're gonna need to go into the mage's vault like i told you and there's a box in there and i want the box and anything else you can have but the box is mine okay let me get this straight we are on an airship and you want us to steal something from a vault? Yeah, that's right. But does the box really exist? Yeah, it's a wooden box. It's about uh, two feet by two feet. Do we really exist? Well, if you don't exist, I don't have to pay you, so that's up to you. I don't even know how I get it. Did, did you? Uh, my memory is a little vague. Yeah, that can that can happen at my shows. 
that people uh, they, they get overawed by my awesomeness. <laughs> my uh, Bengal frosts through his nose. <laughs> Uh, as you do that, the mage points off into the distance and you see coming out of the clouds a mountainside. And on that mountainside, you see the castle in the picture before you. So, uh, like I said, uh, there's no false giants in there anymore. They all left. But, um, you know, there's there's probably some, some people in there. You know, that's why I'm not going. Because, you know, screw that. That's... That's why I have you. You're going to go and get it for me. And, uh, oh, there's, uh, there's one more thing I should mention. So last time I was there, there was this dragon. And um, he might come back. So just, you know, for your information. And then you feel a force push you off the side of the ship. Uh, and you fall slowly towards the snowy grip. As you look back up at the mage, he winks. I give him the finger, and then I slide, glide down. I shout a poem back at him. <laughs> a really emo poem. What? <laughs> <laughs> ow, 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 wow. Oh, the volume. Uh, I'll, I'll tell it to him later. <laughs> Sorry, was, really was that a bit loud? Was... <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> All right, so uh, you land probably a couple of hundred feet away. It's pretty deep snow. You sort of sink in up to just above your knees. It's going to be a, a bit of a slog to get up the hill. But uh, you don't see, like, anything around. One of you might have to carry the gnome. <laughs> uh, well, I, I grew up in this uh, kind of winterland, so I'm used to this cold. And uh, maybe I can carry him. It feels as cold as my heart. Mm, this is nothing. I'm a gnome. All right, guys, what do you want to do? The castle is in front of you up the hill. Uh, you have rocks and snow in every other direction. Wait well, for a that, look back. I have a quick question. Are we supposed to roll for hit points or just take the average? Uh, you can take the max if you want. Oh, oh, okay. Max, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you you might need it. Okay, I'm up to 52. I am at 62. Well, duh, you're a barbarian. <laughs> A little, little, a tiny little gnome barbarian. My name's Bob. <laughs> but you can call me Mr. Barian. <laughs> Mr. Bob. Fucking well played. <laughs> and you gotta spell it right. It's B-A-H-B. Bob. 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 Mr. Bab. Mr. Bab.
So you're from the New Hampshire Berryman, Berryman? Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I don't want to be the leader here, but I think I'm most suited to be the leader here. So how are we doing this? Uh, I think we're just going to walk up to the castle. See, that's a good idea. I'm glad I came up with it. So who's picking me up? Ah, you can ride my back, little gnome. You call me little again, I'm a breaking. <laughs> sure thing, little one. <laughs> is he? Is he like a well, like a New Jersey version of Edward Elric? A little bit. Like, don't, don't call me short. <laughs> don't call, call me small. Don't call me shorty. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to take out a bagel, and I'm going to eat it while you, <laughs> while you walk me over there. I, I think the bagel's going to be pretty frozen. <laughs> oh, you're saying it kind of weird. It's bagel. All right, let's go. Mm. Yep, let's go oh, here. This makes me so happy. <laughs> and you have some uh, locks and schmear for that? <laughs> I got some water. Do you have, like, another map also to put us on? Yeah, when you get there. Hmm. Well, let's go then. I start dashing up to it. I start, like, jumping and uh, running, like, on my all my four paws, like a cat. With a gnome oh, on my back. Cat. Excellent. This is my oh. mount now. I did need to clarify something. Go for it. I wanted to... I wanted to find out if I could have a familiar starting out, or if I needed to do the... the spell. The ritual spell. Do you have the spell? I do have the spell. All right, then we I will assume it. that you had one starting out. What would you like okay. to start with? A raven. Happy days. Do you have uh, the sheet? And do you need a sheet for that? Uh, yes. I I need a raven. Just a sec. Jag skulle vilja två mjukglasser, tack. Med Swedbank-appen kan man enkelt skaka fram saldot. Eh, och strössel. Välkommen till Swedbank. Mm. That is a lot of reading. So you're going to make a lighter? Nope, I have a music box. Oh. And it's playing a song that sounds a lot like... Um, Darude Sandstorm? One, the dust. And Owen oh, Nine, yeah. Vice the Dust. Yep. <laughs> oh, I have uh, another one that plays Darude. Okay. And another so, <laughs> one's Darude Sandstorm. Casey, there should be a raven in your journal now. Oh, thank you. Okay. And are you... You're playing music? Playing a music box from my okay. tinkerer. Okay, so uh, you walk for a little bit. It's pretty deep snow, but you come to you sort of come around the side until you get in front of the main gates of the castle. So we are about there. Yep, you should have just had a new map pop up, is that correct? Yeah, yeah it's but it's black. Black. Good. <gasps> I can't see anything. And it's I mean, big, and it's really big. 
Technically, I can't. I'm a human. If it's if it's dark, I can't see shit. Everything's big. Okay, there I see something. What you see are the huge gates of a very, very large castle. Oh, mm, interesting. It is of literally giant proportions. It towers above you, the gate, almost a hundred feet high. But you see around the edges of the gate where something big has forced its way through and reduced parts of the gate to rubble. The rubble strewing the main courtyard all the way up to the main doors, which have also been forced open. Uh, do we see any tracks on uh, the ground? Something that might alert us what this big, huge thing was? Make a nature or survival. Uh, it's it's going to be survival then. I'll make a survival check. 18. Okay. Minus three. Uh, what you see are tracks, very big tracks. You recognize these tracks to be of a dragon of adult or greater size. They are not particularly new. They look like they've been snowed on, iced over, snowed on again. But this was clearly a big dragon. Uh, just from the dimensions of the hole it's made, you can tell that. You also see layers of tracks. This is not a case where the dragon has come in and left. This is the case where the dragon was occupying this space for a while. Okay then. Guys, there are a dragon nearby, somewhere inside this castle. Big one. Well, yeah. The dog. It's, look, I mean, the, yeah. I hope we get to meet it. I hope I we survive it. Do I know anything about dragons? Is there any reason you... Uh, well, I don't know if you know this, but I'm an urchin. So probably not. <laughs> uh, I actually know about dragon because uh, my people are protected by a dragon. Alright, cool. Uh, make a history check. Uh, not my best forte. Ah, 12. Not bad. Okay, so you know there are different types of dragons. Uh, this is a snowy place. You know it's probably a white dragon. Uh, there are obviously chromatic dragons, and then there are metallic dragons. White dragons are chromatic, and therefore not particularly well disposed to humanoids. Mm. Uh outside of certain circumstances and you know that they like cold places because they are of an icy nature yeah my people are protected by cloth so hmm. you also know that the wizard uh mentioned that there was a dragon who lived here and may or may not be around um, let's hope Sir, he's we're not just around going to, we're going to break into someone's home steal their goods and expect them to not be angry about it. That sounds about right. Well, you know, death is inevitable. 
Well, technically, well, the way is... the, uh, wizard, the purple-dressed wizard described it to you, these things belonged to the frost giant. The thing that he specifically wanted belonged to a frost giant mage and was kept in the mage's vault, which he told you was in one of the towers. I mean, finders keepers. <laughs> which the dragon apparently moved in after the frost giants just took off, so... <laughs> it's, the, it's the dragons now. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, you see the courtyard in front of you? Up to you. Yes. you... I'm uh, moving in a little bit with the gnome on my back, but my senses are, are in, on its peak. I'm really gonna use my cat eyes and ears to, to listen to the surroundings. And we'll see, uh, watch the surroundings. I'm gonna take a look around. Okay. Where do you want to go? You're jumping off me? Yeah. Actually, do I drag my. My name out here? I have a token. Ah! My, my. Oh my god! <laughs> you are the biggest <laughs> what were you again? Gnome? Half like I'm a gnome. You you were you were a giant gnome. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also quite big for some reason. I'm large. <laughs> oh my god. Well now I'm the biggest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Well, you probably are bigger than me. Uh, those, uh, those are five foot squares, by the way. Oh, I didn't put any of that in. I, I'm only 5'10". Ah, uh, that's fine. Well, no, Anastasia is like 5'8". Oh, I'm a few inches higher and taller than you. <laughs> I'm 2'11", but I have a complex about not being three foot. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Well, should we go in, or do we need to? Ex do or do we gonna check out this outer area first? Now we go through the front gate. Direct approach. No one expects you to go through the front gate. No, they expect you to climb a wall. <laughs> Bunch of fools. If only I was a higher level monk, I could do that. Well, actually, I can climb a wall. Because of my cat claws. I go directly to the gate. Okay. Uh, just as you're getting to the door, you notice it's not particularly swept clean. There's bits of wood everywhere. Just make for me a acrobatic acrobatics or athletics, whichever you prefer. Uh, athletics. Okay, cool. You clear the door, the wooden splinters, no problem. Uh, 
Uh, before you, do you see a large grand reception hall, columns to either side, large gothic arches, and a staircase leading up to a mezzanine floor above. In the space above hangs a large iron chandelier. The chandelier has long icicles depending from it, and it swings very gently in the frigid arctic wind. Uh, so where are the stairs? Okay. I throw a javelin at the icicle. At one of the icicles. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a range attack. Yeah, you hit the fuck out of that chandelier. Holy uh, shit. Roll, roll for damage. Okay, so you knock off, uh, you hit big, 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 loud clang. Which That's reverberates through the empty space. And uh, several icicles fall and shatter on the ground. See, now we don't gotta worry about it later. You have a point there, little man. Oh, the chandelier is still there. You just knocked off some icicles. It. See? No, no icicles, but stop calling me little. I'm big for my for my race of gnomes. I'm three foot. Okay, you don't. Uh, once the re reverberations, the echoes die down, uh, a thunderous silence falls across the area. In front of you, you see a set of <coughs> smaller but still very, very large double doors, uh, also broken. Uh, these ones don't seem as ruined, but there is definitely some scuffing around the edges. They are about 20 feet wide. Unlike the courtyard, this area seems to have been swept by a wind. This is possibly wind that's blowing through the castle, through the broken doors, and into the interior. It seems to have swept out a lot of the loose snow. I think we should move further in. Well, then lead the way. Me? I'm the... You're the barbarian. I'm just a, someone that uses bows and crossbows. I'm not the close... I'll lead the close way. Close fighter type. And then you're making the lady lead the way? As, as, they're, as they're arguing, I'll just start walking. <laughs> hey, lady, wait up. You can only die once, unless you have a resurrection spell. I can die a bunch of times, I'm just saying. As you enter this room, you see that it was some sort of dining hall. There is a colossal dining room table in front of you, surrounded by eight gigantic chairs. To either end and at the back of the room are fire. Are what? Fire? Huge fireplaces. They are long cold. To your right, one fireplace seems to have collapsed. There seems to be some sort of rubble coming out of it. The fireplace to the rear looks largely untouched and the fireplace to the left is Somewhat damaged, but not particularly. More to the point, in the left corner, there is a huge hole in the floor. This hole has been iced over so that there is a translucent 
milky layer of ice that looks like glass covering the hole itself but there's a large uh, scree slope of rubble that leads down into some rooms below I, I'm gonna go up to the hole and look down okay uh, make an do you want, let's say investigation Okay. Mm. Okay, it's it's very so it's not clear ice. It's probably looks like it's been layered up over time, so it's warped and distorted anyway. But there is like a, a milky quality that suggests that it's been snowed on and then iced over and then snowed on and iced over. This doesn't look like it was one event. This looks like it's been built up over time. Hmm. Well, nothing of interest there. Just a hole that's been open and covered, open, covered, or covered, 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 over again. Have we seen any other way to, like, get down and to that level? Not so far. Okay. You could yeah. investigate the rest of the room. Uh, what about the doors? See what's this over here. Yeah, and uh, this yep. one over here. You see three doors leading out of this room. This door, door to the oh. south. Oh, oh, there's a, the oh, there's a door yeah. up there too. Okay. I'm gonna check out the fireplace. Okay, uh, roll an investigation check for me. Okay, so you go into the fireplace and it looks like a pretty standard fireplace. But you think that you could possibly use it to access the floors above there. However, it look it's icy, it's icy up there, there's loose rubble, you don't think it will be an easy climb, but it might be possible. Okay. I'll just keep looking around while the rest of these guys do what they're gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna go and investigate this door. Okay, roll an investigation check. Yay! <laughs> oh my, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> my first ever zero roll. You're not 100% certain, but it looks like it's a door. <laughs> yeah, mm, I kind of nod by him. How do you open this? You're, you're pretty certain that it's wood and that you can open it with the handle. I just, uh, oh, there's the handle. Hmm, I'm pressing. I'm opening this door, guys. Do you even okay. have opposable thumbs to open that door? Uh, <laughs> make a strength form. Make a strength athletics check. Okay, yeah, the door was just a little bit stuck from the cold and the frost and the rusty hinges. Also, it's a pretty big door. It's 10 feet across and about 20 feet high. So you give it a bit of a shove with your shoulder and it does pop open to reveal a long corridor uh, that goes off into darkness. Well, I have dark vision. It smells pretty musty down there. So it's going down? 
No, it's going along this level. Oh, okay. Well, this is just a long corridor and smells funny. I kind of leave it open to let the cold air go inside and make it a little more fresh. I'm gonna open this door. Okay. Strength athletics for me, please. Yeah, this one pops right open. Uh, didn't have anywhere near as much trouble as uh, your companion seemed to have with the other. I look, I'm in the angle. <laughs> I just frost. So you come into this space and what you see is a corridor uh, and a set of stairs leading. Uh, make a perception check. You cut out. Are those stairs going up or down? Oh, sorry. The stairs are going up. Okay. Uh, that was okay. A crit. So that was a crit. So you see from your perception check that the uh, corridor to your left opens up into a larger room. You're not quite sure. You can't really see from this distance how big the room. I walk to the right. Okay, uh, real quick, everyone make for me a perception. Oh boy. Uh, do I make another one? Please. <sighs> wow. I thought mine was good. Okay, uh... You hear echoing, uh, Casey. You hear, sorry. Uh, what the hell is your character's name? One of its <laughs> one of your characters. Seventeen. <laughs> Anastasia Perdita Gwendolyn Ravenswing. Okay. Uh -huh. You um, hear of the Baldur's Gates Ravenswing. Very swings. very faint <laughs> noises coming from somewhere. Just somewhere. Yeah, it's really echoey in here. Okay. But you think they're coming from somewhere towards the front of the cup. Okay. But I do hear something. You do hear something. It's not okay. loud, but it's something. All right. And I'm, <laughs> you are, I couldn't, can't believe you rolled a like well i suppose that you guys should know that i do hear something but you know could just be rocks or snow I hear nothing i heard nothing so there ain't nothing hmm well it's worth investigating Potential death. That's always fun. I'm taking out my longbow just to be make sure be ready for anything. Okay. What would you like to do now? Continue forward. Very slowly. Um, maybe quiet. 
We're trying to be sneaky. Mm, it mo it we definitely should be sneaky here. Oh, I suppose. Uh, you enter a long gallery. Uh, to the north, you have faint light filtering in through very, what, for anyone else would be very, very tall floor-to-ceiling windows. But in a giant castle, a giant arrow slip. I stealth. Same. Okay, make Same stealth here. Oh my god. <laughs> Goes from a crit to a terrible roll. Okay, I am so... You are... You guys are moving quietly now. It's stone floor. It's not particularly... The doors have been closed, so there's not a lot of snow in here. The arrow slits are fairly iced over. So you're moving pretty quietly. Apparently I'm uh, wearing Anastasia, high heels. a little bit less <laughs> quietly, but as a group, you're moving quietly. I'm wearing high heels on a stone floor. Just clack, 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 clack. I'm just moving with my s snowy paws on the snow. Like the kind of snow I grew up in. Okay, you're moving that way. Cool. So this seems to be uh, narrowing to another corridor, uh, which then seems to turn and possibly continue along just from the sound of the Do we still hear the noise? Uh, roll another perception check for me. Probably not. Uh, yeah, you do hear a noise. It seems to be coming from behind you. Hmm. What is this? Turn around and aim. Uh, what's your tabaxi? What's your dark vision? Uh, it's uh, 60 feet, like everybody else. I think I can double check in the book. Okay. What you... Yeah, 60 feet. So, uh... Your, you, your dark vision doesn't quite reach to the other end of the gallery, but you don't see anything behind you. But I do hear something. Yeah, it's, it's not loud. It's pretty faint. Should we head on back or um, investigate sound or continue on forward? Uh, I'm going to walk back a little bit this way. Do and you have going... dark vision? No, I don't. But I'm going to use Eyes of the Grave. Okay. Uh, can you link that one for me? I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not undead, but if it is an undead and they're within okay. 60 feet of me now, I can tell. You don't sense any undead. Okay. I'm like, guys, it's not zombies. <laughs> I just go back to home. Okay. <laughs> it, the sound was intermittent. It seems to have stopped again. I don't like this at all. Uh, 
I move forward. Oh, well, we're going back again, and or we're turning around again. No, this is forward. We haven't been here yet. Yeah, but I turn around on the other. We'll look backwards. Now I'm turning around again. This cat's head is starting to spin soon. Do we see anything here? Uh, what you see are some stone walls. But it uh, the corridor turns to the left uh, just ahead of you. We see the abyss. It is good. <laughs> and at, at the end of the abyss, big dragon eyes looking at you in the dark. No, what you see is uh, apparently uh, the stone core and another set of steps leading up to your left. And the corridor also branches here. Were we told where we might find this magical item? Uh, tower? No, um, like wizard's tower? Something like that? Was a possible location? Uh, it was like a vault? Some, um, some sort? Or a vault? Yeah, you were told it was in a mage's vault, and there was mage's mention of a mage's tower. Mage's tower. That, that was all the information that the wizard had for you. This castle seems like a maze to me. I think we go up. Up is good. Maybe we can get some view over this castle. Whoops. Uh, oh no, it's dark. It is dark, but it's not super dark. There's light filtering in from various arrow slits, so it's dim, but it's not impenetrable. Give me a second and I'll move you to the next map. So you continue up the stick and you come, you continue it around, it's a sort of helical staircase and you come out uh, into a large room with doors uh, to the east and west. It's largely empty again, seems pretty functional. There's some old, cold and wood rotted furniture. Nothing particularly noticeable in the room. Just snow, ice. It looks like this castle has not been used by frost giants in quite a while. In fact, it doesn't look like anyone's been in this area for a good long, good long time. 
Hmm. Wonder why the giants would abandon this big, enormous castle. Which door? I'm going up to this door and see if I can hear anything on the other side. I'm listening. Okay, make a perception check for me. Fifteen. Okay, you don't hear anything coming through. It just sounds, as far as you can hear, like a big space. Could be maybe a big room or chamber on the other side, or maybe a, some kind of hall. I'm not sure, I don't hear anything. It's more like an echo. Wing sound, windy sound. Should we open it or check the other door first? Does anybody have? Does anybody know anything about giants? Mm. Or castles or architecture? I might know about architecture. I have city secret. Artificial. Okay, all right. Roll a. What would that be? Roll a straight intelligence check for me. Or history, whichever's better. Actually, no, make that a wisdom. Wisdom or history? Oh, wisdom? No, yeah, sorry. Uh, same. I'll go with history. It's the same. Same, same. Okay. Sure, no. no, no, I went with all the most useless stuff on this character. <laughs> okay, alright. So, based on what you know about castles in general, you know, you've sort of wandered around, you've seen some castles. Uh, you think that this is probably, based on general castle architecture, a replication of the gallery that's below you. So they've replicated this floor, the floor below on this floor. So it's probably a gallery similar to what was below you where it's uh, part of the towers, part of the castle's defenses. Okay. All right. I got you. Then I open the... You kick open the door? Yep. Alright, uh, make a strength athletics check for me. I would say, do, can you even reach the handle? Oh. I'll give you advantage since it's a door. Then 22. Uh, so you kick the door so hard that you put your foot through this old rotted wood and you're hanging there by your foot. Uh, I was going to say, is he stuck? The door is open, though. Okay, I just walk through and leave him there. Uh, I, I'm just, uh, like, uh, stunned by how this little guy kicked the hole in the door. It's beyond me. Uh, you are considered grappled. You must make a strength athletics check to break away. All right. Let's see. There you go. Please fail. Please fail. <laughs> oh, please fail. <laughs> you succeed. Uh, you pull uh, your foot out and the lower half of the door just... Uh, come on. You should have... Uh, you should have increased the DC. <laughs> you should have made a, a contested check for the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> no oh, God. Uh, well, just, just uh, so you asked, the door actually rolled the same thing as I set the DC. 
So I set the DC at 10. Oh, and now boy. that's what the door roll. Uh, damn. Okay, so much like uh, you suspected, Mr. Gnome, uh, Bab, you're, there is a long gallery. Again, heavy, thick defensive walls on the outer side. Uh, broken by arrow, giant dimensioned arrow slits. These ones less iced over than the lower ones. There's a bit more ice and snow here. Uh, what's everyone's passive perception? Seven. 15. 13. Uh, 15. Okay, so uh, Anastasia, roll a... Roll a nature or survival check. No. Damn, you guys are rolling really well. Okay, you notice that there are footstep, uh, foot tracks, uh, humanoid sized tracks, and they are fairly. Re Ooh. Where are they going? Uh, there are some that go in from, they come through the door in front of you, and they go in, there are some that come out and go through the door in front of you, there are some that come out and go through the door behind you, into the uh, tower that you just came up. Okay, but most of them are like centering around this door here. Yeah, it looks like there's been some foot traffic in and out of that room. I think this is worth investigating. Yeah. Okay. Just in case, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch weapons to my two of my hand crossbows instead of my bow. Alright, so you're going through the door that's next to you, to the south? Yeah. Is it open? Uh, have a try and... I kick it open. It swings open, no problems. Make a dexterity save. All right, and I have dangerous. Right there, I have advantage on that. Thirteen. Okay, uh, you dodge out of the way as the door swings back as from bouncing off. The I see. Uh, it looks like uh, actually make a quick. Perception check for me. Okay. You think the hinges to this door have been recently oiled or greased to reduce the amount of sound that they... I cover from behind. Okay, hang on a second. So what you see is a long, another long corridor. Uh, it has a door at the end and just to the right of that, on the south edge of the corridor, it has another door. to the doors. Mm. 
Ok. Uh, Anastasia. Yes. Just behind you, you hear footsteps. <laughs> can I see anyone behind me, like down this corridor? You sure can. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna call out. Did are they, you here for just... the po poetry? GM? Did they just pop into existence on your screen? Yeah. yeah yes. Did. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, now. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to call out. Are, you, are you here for the poetry jam? <laughs> uh, they are not. Oh. Because one of them <laughs> is about to throw a fire, throw some sort of magic at you. You... Do not get surprised. The other two guys do. Wait, I get surprised? What's your passive perception? 13. Yep, you did not hear them. Holy, sh holy oh. shit. But my passive is 7. <laughs> <laughs> do I have time to move out of the way? <laughs> uh, we will see what he's going to throw. Okay. I'm so uh, sad deflect missiles cannot deflect magic. He is going to hit you with a sacred flame. Oh no. Wow. Uh, uh -huh. uh, because you are not surprised, I will give you advantage on your saving throw. And he's throwing this at me? He is. You save. Why would you throw it at the monk? <laughs> hey, you saw him. <laughs> I, I don't think he can reach because it's like 60 feet. What's the, hang on. What's the thing on yeah, Sacred Flame? He's too far it's away. 60 feet. Yeah. Hey, buddy. He needs to move forward a little bit. Sorry, I'm still getting used to all the layers. No, bro, I was, I was new to DMing. There we go. Now we can throw stuff at you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. The other two guys are going to advance. On you. I mean, are they really that stealthy? Holy shit. No, they just rolled really well on their stealth check. Yeah, I was going to say, if they rolled really well. Mm. Well, they rolled better than your passive perception, and you guys had stopped listening for them. So. True. But I'm always listening. You're cutting out. All of you were like cutting out. There we go. Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? Discord died. Oh yeah. Hey. It died. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Discord died on Oh, us. good. It's doing this yeah. again. Discord Give me a just second. died. Still can't hear me? I can hear you. I can hear yeah, you. We, can hear, okay, you. we I, can hear you. Can you guys... You guys can see, hear me, but I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh oh. Well, he did uh, uh, the same thing happen when he was trying to talk to me in private. Oh. He 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 need, he need to uh, turn it off and on again. Yeah, it's gonna say maybe restart Discord. He, he had to restart his computer, I think. <laughs> yeah, no. just Discord. Yeah, Hello. sorry about that. It's been screwy all day. Mm. Okay, so uh, everyone roll initiative. To do. Holy shit. Uh, how the hell do I roll initiative on this thing? Uh, on the sheets, uh, there are like a small uh, uh, a little dice thing. Yeah, yeah, a little uh, dice thing on the sheet. Mm. Oh, yeah, I see it. And yeah, just, pre re re just remember to press the tokens as well. Uh, can I put my bird out there? Whoops. That's my no, bird, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My bird is just a person. <laughs> what a nice birdie. <laughs> okay, do I need to load the initiative tracker or something? Because I'm not seeing initiatives coming up. Yeah, you have to roll it, or you uh, have to... But yeah, it's like the clock out. thing on the menu. You just uh, open it up there. Uh, on the left menu. There. Ah, there it is. There it is. And then you press the cogwheel, and you press the descent, and you get the correct turn order. Okay, so you get uh, first crack, Mr. Bengal. Okay. Since I'm using both my hand crossbows, I'm uh, aiming on this dude over here. Okay. Uh, give me a second. It's a pretty tight hallway, and there's a couple of people, so if you want to thread the needle, you're going to be firing at disadvantage. I'm just using a small hand crossbow, like two one-handed crossbows. Yeah, I get you, but there's you got to put this thing between two people who are very close together. Uh, yeah, I'm just so playing. Do you want to get I, the person I'm, who's... I'm you want to get this, that guy? Yeah, I'm attacking this guy in front of me. Uh, okay, no, no, Not this one. Ah, sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah. Uh, also, as a bonus action, I'm gonna attack with my second hand crossbow. Uh, since I have two weapon fighting, I can do that. Okay. Uh, make uh, your two shots then. Oh my god, I rolled terrible. Okay, first one misses, second one hits roll damage. Uh, I have to restart roll 20 because it, uh, the text blocked my view. Anastasia, you are on deck, so think about what you want to do next. Mm. Yep. And of course, it's the restarted Waterdeep for some reason, not your campaign. God damn it. Well, I guess we all know whose campaign you prefer. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> Uh, 
So, 7 piercing damage on this dude. Okay, he takes that right in the face. And uh, it, your bolt sinks. You missed it with the first one, it kind of clips off the wall. And the second one sinks deep into his shoulder. It looks nasty. Okay then. I am done. Okay, Anastasia, what do you want to do? I'm going to run over here and start punching this guy in the face. Ooh, attack okay. of opportunity? <laughs> uh, no. Short sword, actually. Uh, you're going to short sword him in the face. Okay, so uh, did you use Step of the Wind to disengage? No, I did not. Okay, so the two guys that you just ran past are going to get attacks of opportunity on you. Go right ahead. So, first one... Yep, he that rolls hits. a 23. I mean, obviously, that hits. You take four bludgeoning damage from him. Oh no. No, <laughs> that does not hit. Huh. Yeah, he whiffs. You just move too fast. Uh, <laughs> so remember, now, he whiffs. Remember, Ash, uh, you press the arrow button on uh, the turn order so you can see w uh, which turn order you're, you're on. Oh. Like that. Mm. Yeah, There's like that. Too many times. Oh, one too far. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. We all know it's your turn. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Okay. All right. So make your unarmed attack on the clothy. Well, I'm, I'm doing short sword. Oh, then make your armed attack on the clothy. <laughs> 12 hit. Uh, yes, you hit. Okay. And then I'm going to spend a key point to flurry of blows. Go right ahead. So that is... Two unarmed strikes, so I don't even have unarmed strikes in there. I need to do that, but for right now it's just oh, plus four because that's all I have. I don't have high enough monk level to get d6 yet. Wow, doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, you cut him with your short sword, make a big slash. Uh, across and as you are withdrawing punch forward and hit him right on the point of the chin you feel a crunch as it drives his jawbone back into his spine and snaps his neck he falls to the ground like a limp sack of potato like a limp sack of wet meat <laughs> uh with a very gristly thud he did he is very dead. Okay. I have five more feet, so I'm just gonna mm. start heading back. If you click uh, the token, you have like uh, the circle thing below the cogwheel. You can uh, press the X and you'll... There you go. Jeez. Oh, I should actually died. <laughs> back. And... That's all I can do. Okay. Uh, that was good because his action was going to be to throw a firebolt at you. Hmm. Alright. Uh, Mr. Gnome. Bad. I am exasperated. Yeah, measure, so I yeah. go rage. Three, four. Alright. Alright. Uh, this dude gets an attack of opportunity because you moved past him. No. No, I'm, in his, uh, I'm still in his melee range. Oh, yeah. so you are. Alright, go ahead, make your attack roll. And I have... This thingy. Up there. So... 
I'm at a reckless. Get my okay. warhammer. 16 to hit uh, this guy. Top guy. Yep, that hits. He takes 17 damage. That's another 6. He takes 23 damage. Like I said, he takes 23 damage. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. I forget, we only get one attack. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, and now it is his turn. And he is going to attack. Okay, uh, he is going to attack you with his mace. And because of pack tactics, he gets advantage on that. So, he will, so I'm going to assume a 20... Oh, he had advantage anyway because you were reckless. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And because of his multi-attack, he gets another one. Also an advantage. 16 misses. 16 misses, alright. So that is 8 bludgeoning damage reduced to half because you are raging. Okay, that's so uh, minus 4 for you, and it is the Raven's turn. I think you it skipped will... this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, it yeah. I'll, I'll roll, roll initiative for it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Or you can just let the that Raven go is... move on your turn. Hmm? You can on just my let. Turn? Yeah, you can just let the Raven move no, the, on your turn. Because the Raven's a familiar, it moves on its own turn. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I'll let him go first this turn, and then the next turn, if there, anyone's still alive, uh, the yeah. standard will. Well, it's just gonna f fly over here and do the help action. Great. Uh, so the <laughs> bandit is going to s Mr. Berrien in the back. Does a 15 hit? 20, 22 hits. No, then he doesn't. Oh, oh, wait, yep. no. Does, does he still, have... Does he still have advantage? I thought yeah. it was just the next attack. No, it's no. attacks against It's a full okay, round. So you, take, you take three slashing damage. Hello, and welcome to this special session of mine. And not we mine. are back to the top of the round. We're not following the order, uh, the normal session. Okay, so my Mr. Bengal Tiger, uh, or Bengal Panther or something, he's gonna use his hand crossbow to attack this bandit or whatever it is with a 23 yep that'll hit seven piercing and the bonus action to attack with his offhand because of two weapon fighting and crossbow expert go ahead for another 10 Okay, so uh, your first crossbow gets him directly. Can you hear me still? Yes, I can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. it just sounded like my Discord logged out again. Still hear me? Yep. Yes. I, I may periodically ask that because my <laughs> catching makes weird sounds. Mm. So uh, your first crossbow bolt catches him in the base of the skull as he turns to attack Bab. Your second crossbow bolt 
hits the back of your first crossbow bolt and drives the crossbow, your first crossbow bolt out through the front of his face and he falls limply to the ground with a very, very sad whimper. Oh, you couldn't hear me before? No. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I had to disconnect. And uh, when I'm done, I'm uh, like moving past here. Okay. And that is my turn. So the general idea for this session is that since we are a couple, a two men okay. short, uh, then it is one of my player is, is running okay. this uh, special uh, session of his own. Over here. Normally we are running uh, Waterdeep uh, as me this as the PM. Have a good day. I know. <laughs> short toward. I'm guessing right, a twenty one. Oh yeah, for sure. And then it's just like a special. It, it's a rate. it's a special fun Bonus thing action. we do. Uh, we're gonna do like guessing twenty from time minutes. to time when uh, yep. uh, we're not full party. Oh, that was max damage too. Oh. Uh, yeah. So you carve into this guy with your short sword, and the first strike takes a big chunk out of him, and uh, just as he's sort of staggering back into a, a sort of a ready position. Your second one pierces right into the, the hole in his chest that you just made, and he lets out a wet gurgle and slumps to the floor. Oh, nice. That means that I can take his life force. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, it's this. <laughs> well, that's cool. disturbing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a touch of death. That is just insanely good. All right, well, add your temporary hit points. Yep. Is the modifier plus monk level. and that so and that's for monk one. holy shit that's for monk that's for monk yep i thought that was like for warlocks or something no that's for monk that's <laughs> that's long death monk oh wow cool all right you that's are now in a sick. corridor with three corpses what would you like to do yeah, I'm looting and I'm trying. I want to recover uh, my bolts, also. I I am sending their souls into the afterlife. <laughs> okay. Uh, you fired how many bolts? Four. Four. Okay. Mate, and three of them hit, correct? Yes. All right. Make for me three dexterity check. Uh, just straight dex? Yep, just three straight dexterity checks. Oh my god, those are terrible. Oh, rip. Okay, you get back one bolt. Okay then. The other two were... One was damaged uh, in the fall when the dude fell on it with his face. You managed to pull the other one out of his skull. Uh, and the other one was in that guy's shoulder, so that also got broken when he fell. Careful, it, uh, Polly. Okay. Understood. Anyway, I want to loot the bandits. Um... Okay, so uh, on the bandits, you find. A uh, combined total of about 20 silver. Oh, no, I tell like 15 silver. 
That's five silver each. Hey. Uh, you find um, assorted I... various normal weapons, uh, scimitar, a mace. Uh, the the magic user has a interesting red hat with with wizard spell, uh, written on it with two Z's. No. I see what you did there. Yeah, you do. I take yeah. the hat. <laughs> I wear it as I break the guy's knees. I'm gonna give uh, five five silver <coughs> to each of my companions. Okay, cool. Uh, so everyone uh, put five silver in your purse. Okay. And the weapons are no use to me, so I'm gonna leave them be. I break his knees. <laughs> Okay, so now you're in a room with three corpses with broken knees. <laughs> Make sure they're on my level. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, Ash, if you uh, press the cogwheel on the turn order, you can uh, clear the turn order completely. Remove everything. Ah, uh, cool. Now, um, quick question. Remove all turns. Okay, so quick question. How do I make it so you can't see my rolls? Uh, just whisper uh, on your rolls. Okay, how do I do that? Um, do you want the rolls for your NPCs? It's or? just, it's just um, in case I need to roll like uh, perception or anything like that. Uh, it should be the other you whisper. Uh, in... Should be in the settings or on your uh, on the special mm, monster. You can just choose whisper rolls. Do I have to do that for every monster? Uh, most of the monsters already have like whispers on them, uh, but you you sh if they're not uh, set like that, they you have to change the sets uh, settings for always whisper rolls. Okay, and I can do that in. Yeah, in I was the... looking for it before. Yeah, you go to uh, the character sheets, and uh, there is a cogwheel uh, far to the right on the sheets. Uh, press that, and you scroll down, and you can see whispers, always whisper, never whisper rolls. You have to uh, be... Oh, okay, so I've taken my guys straight from the monster manual, so I don't have that. They, yeah, they should be there on a... Uh, if I you're... don't see it. Okay. Mm. Ah, never mind. Let's see here. Um... Okay, so you just dragged them from the monster. Uh, monster Companion? Yeah, I did. It was just the easiest way to do it. Uh, you could just slash roll uh, whisper or something like that to yourself. There, there is a way I just forgot because I don't want to whisper to you guys anymore. <laughs> I don't use whisper rolls. Unless, uh, I'm ro unless I'm rolling stealth or something like that. Yeah, that's that's kind of why. So basically I've been doing that manually. That's fine. I'll just continue to do it. Yeah, you can just do it on your table if you have a uh, if you have dice in front of you. You can just do that instead. 
Yep, no problem. Alright, cool. Uh, now, where are we? Alright, uh, what would you guys like to do? Go through the door. Which one? Which door? There are two doors. Maybe down here? Uh, which one? The one to the south or the one to the east? South door, okay. Sure. Uh, you open the door. No strength check required. This one seems to be pretty easy to get through. But these are like giant sized doors, right? They are giant size. They are 10 feet wide or what would that be? Three meters wide and about what? 15 feet, so three meters tall. Wait, 10 feet wide, three meters tall? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, they're big. 10 feet tall and 15 feet. No, ten, they're 10 no, feet 10 wide. 10 feet tall <laughs> and 15 feet tall. Which is about, <laughs> which is about what? Three feet, meters, right? Feet is fine with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fine for you. <laughs> they're big is what you need to know they are big enough for they're, a they're frost giant to go through uh, um, so yeah. you come out to a space this area is uh, it's a long gallery with a sort of frost giant waist height wall that overlooks uh, the chandelier the massive iron chandelier that you shot earlier Oh, over, and so you are over now here. on the yeah. upper level of where you were before. <laughs> okay, so this is like uh, th this is a wall, right? There's a wall here. So yeah, that's should... a that's a wall. It's about it's about waist height to a frost giant, so it's maybe around head height for. Well, it's probably a little bit above head height for you guys, but you can uh -huh. see the hand, the chandelier, which is hanging even above, even further above you at the very very top of this entrance hall okay 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 so i'm kind of starting okay so i think maybe we should go back this way and go through this door okay because it's oh, just going to lead if it mirrors then it's going to be another hallway like this on the oh, other side yeah good call So you want to go through the door to the east? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, give this one a push, and it opens pretty. Easy. Inside, you see a room uh, with arrow slits looking out over the courtyard. In here are sort of uh, some various bits of rubble that have been piled up to form some well, chairs well. and a very very small smokeless fire which is even now slowly guttering i put the fire out because that is hazardous Yes, in this frozen stone room. <laughs> they could set this whole castle on fire. They Only could melt... you can pre prevent forest fires. They could melt the ice and make an avalanche. <laughs> Just concerned about fire safety, okay? If you okay. say so. Uh, what would you like to do now? It's just this room. There's no no doors or anything leading off from here. No, this room. Uh, go and make a perception check for me. Yeah, please. Yep. So you look out, and what you can see is that this overlooks the um the main courtyard and therefore the door okay so you think that this was probably 
uh, a guard post. They were watching the main courtyard. To just make sure to see if anyone was coming in. Uh, you, it's possible that they either saw you walking in through the main doors, since you weren't being particularly stealthy, or also possibly when you hammered the chandelier with Jap. <laughs> Could be any of those things. Huh. Might just be a mirror room on the other side, but doesn't hurt to check. Ah, well, we're, we're here, so might as well just do that. Okay. Did you want to check the... Do you want to open the door? Yes. Alright, go ahead and make a strength check. Strength athletics. I will leave that the person who actually has strength. Yeah. You shoulder this one open again. No problems. And just like you thought, Anastasia, there seems to be it seems to be a mirror for the other side. So long corridor door leading off to the south, so off to the east, and then another door. Uh, at the end of the corridor. So, might as well just go down the corridor. Yeah. Leave this room. Uh, bad. You notice when you open the door that it was sticky again. It was difficult to open. So you don't think that anyone's been through this door. I mentioned it. Guys. Thank you. Okay. You are in front of a door. Let's kick it open. This is what happens when you have no rogues in the party. Strength check. <laughs> They're not locked, as far as you can tell. They're just <laughs> stiff and old. But I mean, like, no investigation checks, no checking to see if it's trapped. Just kick it open. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh... Yep, takes a little bit more effort, but uh, you do manage to sort of get this one mostly open. I'm still amazed that a little gnome, gnome can open up a 15 feet high giant door. <laughs> the gnome's arms are as big as your leg. Uh, this appears to be a repeat of the gallery, a mirror of the gallery that was on the other side of the castle. Well, let's go check the door we didn't check on the other hall. There's a door right here, right? That's right. I am opening up the door. Okay. Uh, strength check. Yep, no problem. You're getting used to this now, so you just uh, kind of shoulder. It protests a little bit, but it comes it comes open pretty easily. Uh, in there, you see another what looks to be like a tower's guard, a tower guard's room. 
with some stairs that lead down, which I have not put in there, and some stairs that lead up. Well, we are trying to find a tower. Are we going up? Hmm. Up seems like the log logical choice. Otherwise, we're gonna just keep on going around in round circles. <laughs> just we spend the entire session just going around this one floor. <laughs> yep. Like I could have sworn we've been here before. <laughs> So let's just head up. Okay, so you climb the stairs. They are stairs. They are giant sized stairs. Uh, so they do take a little big bit more effort, but not crazy Welcome to amounts my stream. of effort. And uh, oh, that's not what I want. Uh, so and you do climb them, and it's not. He has, they don't give you a huge amount of trouble, and as you get to the top... I need to make sure that I select the right layer. How are you doing, big... big Dana one? You find yourself in... Um... And... A tower room. Mm, yeah, I'm good. And no, uh, uh, like I'm not looking for any players because we are five. I have five players already, and uh, two of them are just not here this session. So that's why we are doing a it's special one. And a tower it looks like it's one a of my players are tower. doing is the GM. Uh, does somebody want to make a perception check for? Me? I can do that. I ah, do. yeah, I can do that too. Okay, uh, Bab, you can't quite make it up over the bottom of the arrow slit, hmm. but but if um, you like to follow Gali, my what you what see when you look at is you see uh, you can just press five other towers, nice. all of this height. Tower more so followers. there's tower immediately to your east. So if you want, you can just be a you can just start. Following there is a tower a little bit just past that. We stream every Sunday. Uh, every Sunday. There is the courtyard. Or I do. There is a tower where you were before, which you suspect uh, you could have gotten into if you kept heading up in the tower where you climbed to the second. We can't get any higher in this tower. No, not in this tower. Uh, you also see a tower directly to your north. Mm, okay. Are you going to point those towers out to us? If you zoom out... Oh, sorry, are you talking... Yeah, I'm talking to Bengali. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm pointing to the north and... I'm pointing around me here in the directions. I see the towers. Um, make an investigation. Oh no. I'm terrible at the investigation. <laughs> okay. Uh, everything seems fairly straightforward. Is so there's like a window, right? That he's like looking. Out yeah, he's looking to through. See. So it's so the interior windows on this tower are a little bit bigger. The ones that face uh, north. 
uh, and so you can get um, a bit of a better view, but the exterior facing ones, so the ones facing... Well, the ones that face west are directly into rocks, so there are no windows. The ones that face south and east are arrow slits, so they are defensive windows. Okay. If I but look that... For, for I... you, they're pretty big, but they're defensive. They're arrow slits for joint. Uh, if I look Is down, it... uh, can I like see uh, maybe ch see if I can find a path to the other towers? Oh, okay. Uh, so you look down and you can see like there is a a sort of a pitched and heaving roof. You could theoretically make it across, but the roof stops at the second floor. So it's a, that's a giant second floor. So it's probably about 30 feet below you. So you wouldn't want to try and jump it, but you could probably climb down with some rope. I have uh, climbing speed, so I can cl I can actually climb and have the barbarian on my back if he clings on to me. Uh, Anastasia, I'm not so sure. Yeah, it's it's kind of a bit of um, bit of a swings and roundabout situation. Mm. It's icy because it's you know cold up here and there's mm. pretty strong wind. Now the ice could mean that it's treacherous. But it could also give you something to sink your claws into. So, yeah, yeah, that's what, what I meant. So, if I could, since I using my claws to climb down uh, twenty feet and then jump to, uh, uh, the other ten feet with uh, the gnome, and uh, since uh, I'm not wearing any shoes, uh, I could use my claws to have a good grip on the on the roof, on the icy roof. I could use, okay. I, I could just Possibly. like land, land uh, as like a cat on all four paws. Okay, um, the roof does look pretty treacherous, but you think you could possibly do it? Oh, I want to do this, but I want to. Uh, I just want to ask the gnome if he want to join me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But no, thank you. Oh, come on, little gnome. Join me in this little endeavor. Uh, and a, who was it? No, it was the gnome. So uh, make a intelligence or history check for me. History. Which one was? Bad. Gnome. Oh. All right. Uh, you think, based on what you've seen of this castle so far, being that you know it, you seem to know a bit about castles that this architecture is probably mirrored on the other side. It's been the case so far. So there's probably another set of stairs to the tower to the north and probably similar to the other towers. So I would gather that if we just went back down a floor, went to the other tower, we could just go up again? Yeah, that seems likely. Mm, all right. Okay. Well... First, is this window open? It is open in the sense that the glass that originally, well, glass that originally glazed the window is broken and old, but it has also been partially iced over. So you would have to probably do a bit of damage to that to get out, but it's not... You know, it's not a, a, the kind of window that you can open. It's the kind of window there, that you have to bust through. Is there room enough for a a tiny creature to go through? Yes, your raven could certainly get out there. Okay. I want to send my raven out there to scout the other towers. Okay. Yeah, give me one sec. Because I don't want to run around and like go be going up and down stairs searching all of these towers when I could just be like, hey, it's this one. <laughs> we could just go to that one. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, which tower would you like to have a look at first? Uh, the north one. Okay. All right. So, so you sending your first. raven over there? Yes, I am. I'm going to drag it out here. <laughs> that picture is so goofy. I'll be Sophia. I'll be Sophia. Oh. Oh, Raven. There we go. Okay, so you look into. Oh, the hell? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, hang on a second. My thing just decided to navigate to YouTube uh, because I'm using push to talk, and apparently that. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> I also use push to talk, but I don't get directed anywhere. Oh no, I'm just because I'm moving stuff around and clicking and whatnot. It, uh, it just dropped. Well, that's interesting. Give me a second. Well, that's, that's an interesting thing that it's doing now. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so, uh, have you, that's a lovely picture for your raven. Have it make a, <laughs> uh, investigation check. Oh gosh, uh, that'd just be intelligence, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think have... you get advantage on those ones either. No. Um, no. Okay, so your raven goes over. Are you looking through the raven's eyes? Yes, I am. I'm doing okay. the thing. So your raven goes over, and what it can see is some very milky glass. Uh, and some shapes moving behind that glass, but that's it. Okay. I will move on to the next tower. Okay. Tell that um, or... make a, an arcana check for me. Me or the bird? <laughs> you. Because okay. this is to do with your arcane. Yep, I, that's how I figured. I'm even whenever I'm playing a magic character, I am never good at arcana checks. I don't know why. Okay, so the DC for this wasn't particularly high. Uh, something about this tower seems odd to you. It seems at once familiar, but also quite alien. And you think this is maybe not the standard architecture for a frost joint. So you're saying it's a Lovecraftian tower? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> it's non-Euclidean. Even though he had no, no idea, no real idea what non-Euclidean meant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, look that up, please, because I never heard that before. Please, look it up. Post what? it on chat. Non-Euclidean? Oh. Non-Euclidean? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it means geometry, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Unfortunately, Lovecraft was not, like, 
he he sometimes threw words in there that he didn't really understand like fully understand the meaning of he just thought they sounded smart <laughs> Please. Yeah. Don't, Say, get me, don't get me wrong, I love Lovecraft, but some of his stuff was just... I'm like, what? <laughs> also racism. Also racism, yes. Like, even for the time he was writing, people went, Can't say that, dude! It's kind of racist! <laughs> like, in the yeah. 20s, people were going, Ooh, he's, he's kind of racist. Yeah. All right, uh, which tower do you want to move to next? Is this a tower? That is also a tower. Okay. Uh, um, make your investigation. Oh boy, this is going to go even worse. Actually, it's the same. <laughs> okay, well, it just appears to be a tower. Uh, similar thing, you have you look through. Uh, this one does not have the, the, fence, the big fancy windows. It's just... Um, sort of more defensive windows because it looks down over the central courtyard. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you look in and from what you can see in your limited uh, frame of vision, um, this is not iced over. It just, it appears to be empty and disused. Okay. Am I thinking that's the one that we looked in before? That is... Uh, Make a survival. Hmm. It's either that one or the one next to it. Survival. No! Wow, that was terrible. And the DC for this was super low. Uh, you think this is the tower where you came up. So this is where you came to the second floor. Mm. So this is the top floor of that tower. Okay. So thinking back, you realize there were stairs that went kept going up. Uh, but where you went out oh, into far, the gallery and then uh, and into the hallway where you fought those guys, this is the tower where you went from the first to the second floor. Okay. Oh. All the ground to the first floor if you're from Europe. <laughs> or from floor to floor. Indeed. All right, which tower would you like to go to next? <laughs> I think that's a tower. I'm guessing it's a boxy shape. Yes, this is also a tower. Uh, okay. Investigation. Man, that negative four is just killing me. Yeah, it is. Uh, Burbs okay. are not smart. <laughs> He's just like sitting there. They are not. <laughs> Okay, so uh, again, it's as far as you can tell, it is just a, an empty defensive tower. This is probably the top level of. Actually, no, I tell a lie. This is the roof. So this is a rooftop. There does not seem to be <laughs> any obvious way to access it. My verb is so dumb. He thought it was a tower. He's like, oh wait, this is a roof. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a tower. It's just like, it's like one of those crenellated ones, but there's no way to get up to the oh, top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, if you look to further to the east, you do see more walls and towers. Yeah. Man, this is just walls, towers, walls, yeah. towers, it's a, corridors. It's a castle. Yeah. I'd like to check out this one, though. Okay, so, investigation. Negative. Hey! Okay. Ah, cool. That's so you look in and it is it is an empty room. Uh, some snow, ice, looks like some age rotted wood. Nothing particularly interesting in there. It's an, it's an empty room with some stairs in it. Okay. I think that's the last actual like big tower, right? Uh, if you look to the west, you do see two more. Mm -hmm. You see one Besides... in the south and one in the north. The the two gatehouses where you came in to the, sorry, to the east. Okay, I was like, the east. My bad. I'm like, there's just the one we're in. <laughs> no, to the east. So to the east, there are two more. You see 
a two large towers connected by uh, a parapet. Okay. It looks like this is the the gate. Yeah. All right, investigation. Oh, I am just waiting for that like crit fail, and it gives me like a negative four. Empty room. Same, same as the last last couple of places. It's just they're just empty yeah. rooms. Okay, I think. Ah, oh my God, just keep scrolling up. Yeah, it's a big, ta it's a big castle. Yeah. All right. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the negative. There it is. You can't like your bird's just bored now. I can't really. Yeah, the, my bird. Just, like, just kind of just looks at it because it's like, ah, tweet, another tweet, empty room. Tweet. All right. So tweet. the only place where you saw, <laughs> so it was all empty rooms except for the tower to your north. Yeah. Okay, bring him a bird back, and I will tell tell everyone what I saw. I'm making a matchbox, <laughs> like a, a a toy car. Yep. Oh my god, <laughs> that's what I thought you meant. <laughs> but I was like, no that. way. I'm like, so okay. we have a Cthulhu tower to the north, <laughs> and everywhere else, everywhere else is pretty much empty. <laughs> so the fastest way to get to the northern tower is either on the roof or the stairs. I would prefer not breaking my neck. We can use a rope. So I, so I'm going to take the stairs. <laughs> You all can do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm gonna go back down the stairs. <laughs> Have fun, cat. I'm going down the stairs too. I don't want to go out there alone. <laughs> well, I'll turn up meow. Meow. Okay, so uh, everyone make for me a perception check. A deception or a perception? Oh my perception. god! Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, another two. I had rolled a one, so don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 13. Okay. Oh yeah, he rolled a 30. <laughs> The other day, there are three. It's always fun that the, the person with the most negatives, the lowest stats, always wins. So, sometimes. Oh, yeah, I have these. These tools. That you haven't been using. <laughs> your thieves' tools are your. Is your foot. Uh, yeah. It's just a crowbar. Well, then we have a way to open doors that are locked. Uh, oh, right. We're going north. Go so far, north. none of them have been locked. Uh, actually, you guys aren't going anywhere. Roll initiative. Oh, good. Wait. Wait, what? Initiative? Holy shit. Nice. Initiative, and then I gotta drag my word back out. Oh. I'm drawing my crossbows. Like two guns. For my bird. Using them like two guns. Pew, pew. Okay, uh, so the first guy... Oh, are we surprised? You are surprised. I am very surprised. Is going to make an attack on you at... Uh, at advance. I assume you made 20 hits. Who, me? Yes. Yes, definitely. Uh, I'm going to assume a 12 does not. 
All right, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Uh, next. Oh, well, I don't see the turn order. Ah, yeah, sorry. I they have they have not yet rolled initiative. They're still in their surprise round. So that is going to go for you, Bengali. Does a 12 hit? No. Okay, so a firebolt whizzes past you and explodes against them. I just use my cat reflexes and duck away. All right. And as you do that, uh, through the door bursts this man. And he looks... Hang on a second... He looks happy or confused. Or he's uh, like he's... point... Or he's uh, like... Cleaning his teeth. I'm just trying to find... Ah, there it is. Oh, no. I thought it was a hand. Okay. I don't know how to do that one. I was too far away. There's somebody stuck in the wall. Help them. Ah, I can't figure out how to get his portrait into the thing. Never mind. <laughs> uh, he is a he's a dashing looking rogue with a scimitar in his hand. And he is going to take a slash at Labab at Bab. Is that, uh, what is that? 21 hit? Yes. Yes, it does. So I got too many things going on in too many. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> You take nine slashing damage, and he's gonna hit you again. Oh, it's done that annoying thing where I can't get at it. Okay, uh, where was it? Twenty-four hit. Yeah. You take nine slashing damage. Okay. Uh, now they. Uh, everyone, rule initiative. Now, if I can only remember how to do that. Uh, we there already, we go. We already did that, so. Okay, so they should all have initiative now. Uh, not... The wizard and the henchman. Uh, I have to press the tokens. Yeah, I realized what I'd done. Rinse wind, why you do this? There you go. Okay, so uh, now, oh, Tabaxi again. First go. Oh, yes. I'm going after this dude with my two gun crossbows. That's 22 hits. 
for not for nine damage. And that's my bonus action. I'm attacking uh, attacking with the other crossbow. I'm guessing twelve does not hit this dude. It does actually. What? For ten. So he takes nice. nineteen takes damage. Nineteen. Not bad. Ten is Pretty my maximum good. damage. <laughs> All right. Maximum. Anastasia. Okay, so I'm going to try and stabby stabby and then punchy punchy this guy. The Does thug? He... Yeah. Okay, yep, 20 hits. Okay. And then bonus action unarmed strike. 13. Okay, uh, 13 hits. And, oh, well done. All right, so uh, after taking two crossbow bolts to the side from Bengali, you draw, you turn around, draw your sword, short sword, slash once, and then you punched him, yeah? Mm -hmm. And another vicious throat punch of furious anger <laughs> right into his neck, and uh, he clutches his throat starts choking and then sinks to his knees uh slowly to the ground deaded nice and like almost got me back up to where i was i just suck the life out of him as he's dying <laughs> those are just temporary right they're not yeah, they are temporary. Yeah, they're temporary. Yeah, so they don't persist over a long rest, right? No, no. As soon as I hit long rest, they go away. Okay, so as you um, as you kill one more of these people, uh, the gentleman here uh, spits at you and curses and says, You're sons of bastards! Do I have to the another of my men? Well, I mean, you don't have to bring up my parentage. That's kind of rude. But you don't like, have to be I so guess violent. I did, like, kill a lot of your people, so... I'm gonna break your fucking knees. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> One second, it is now the Acolyte's turn. And he is going to use a Scorching Ray. Uh, now he gets three rays, he's going to direct one against Hmm, let me see. You just killed his friend. So he's going to direct them more. So he's going to direct... Yeah, he's going to direct one at each, I think. Okay. Alright, so 2020 20 and 17, I assume, all hit. Well, yep, whichever yep. one of those is at me, it, all of them hit, would hit me. <laughs> so. Yeah, same here. Yep. Uh, so the first one is at you, Anastasia. It does not. Okay. Second one is at you, um, Bab. It also does. Third one is at you, Bengal. It does six fire damage. Okay. And now it is the turn of the man who is very clearly the captain. Uh, and he is going to 
slash again at uh at bad Du vet du kan följa mig på Twitch va? Då, då hör du oss också. Okej. Okay. Let's see. Bra om du tittar på Twitch så jag får mer viewers. Det är inte jag som DMar utan det är min spelare som DMar. Så so jag är bara checking a couple things. Det är inte things jag som DMar. Here. Va? Jo, men det är ett special. All right. Cool. So, uh, what he is going to do is he's going to attack you with his. Om det var jag så hade du hört mig prata mycket mer. Gonna assume a 22 hits. Yup, yup. Fifteen. Okay, so just the one. That's ten slashing. And he is going to use his bonus action to attack again with his scimitar. Have you not gotten a chance to rage yet? Nope. I'm oh assuming that 23 also hit. Yep. That's ten more slashing damage. Alrighty. Holy crap. I went from 63 to 14. Oh my god. You, you're what? You're at 14? Yep. 14 or 40? 14. Holy crap. He's real angry. Mm-hmm. Even though I have yet to kill one person. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Okay, uh, it is now your raven's turn. I'll fly up here. Uh, help action for Bab. He will get advantage. Alright, it would be the thug's turn, but he's dead. Mm -hmm. Now it is your turn, Mr. Bab. Uh, I'm finna rage. Okay. I'm gonna hit him with the Warhammer on my left hand. One hand. I'm gonna take out my hand axe. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, then two-handed. Boom. Reckless, of course. Okay, 17. that hits. Alrighty. And then... Gosh, what? Okay. Oh, so it takes so he 10? Takes 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 damage. You got 2 from Raging. Uh, and then plus 2 on that D6. Alright, no problem. Alright, and I hit him right in the knee. <laughs> oh yeah, you right. probably can't Left reach him. Right um, he grunts and says, "Ah, I hate the puta." All right, that's my turn. Okay, it, uh, you are up again. Big... And so I'm gonna move up here, and I'm gonna point my right crossbow, hand crossbow, to his face, and the. Leave or get pierced. It is you who will be pierced, you son of a bitch. Okay, I just Was shoot. Was that a sexual innuendo or? <laughs> Make your attack rolls at disadvantage because you are in melee range. No, I have crossbow expert, so I don't get disadvantage. All right. Then Yay. make a regular attack roll. Best feat for crossbows. Yes. You miss. Oh. Bonus action. My sick. My other crossbow. Oh, I you definitely oh. roll. Roll your damage. 
Aww, oh, that one. Yeah, maximum and uh, one. Oh yeah, that is max. That's max and then a one. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, f I have a feeling that yeah, I'm gonna action search. All right, go ahead. And attack him twice again. Uh, first one hits. Six. Second one hits. For another eight. So that's 19, that's 25 damage total. I don't know if you get an extra bonus. Yeah, actually. Yes, uh, action is a uh, possible bonus action. I would think it's possible if you haven't taken. Okay, yeah, do you have a bonus action? What? Uh, no, action, a... sur action yeah. surge is just that you have an additional action on top of your regular action and your bonus action. Yeah, so you have two actions and you still have your bonus action. Yeah, so I made first attack and then I used a crit for my bonus action. Then I used action surge for uh, the 20. Uh, that made six damage. And then I used my offhand because of uh, my crossbow expert. Alright, cool. You Okay, so you fired your crossbows three times. Your two crossbows. Four, uh, yeah, I hit him three times. Yes, you did. And now you have no crossbow bolts. Like, you have no loaded crossbows. You need to reload. Uh, don't use the loaded property. Your... Mm. You see here, when you, uh, you ignore the loading quality... You of may pro use your bonus action to attack with a loaded hand crossbow you are holding. Yes. Oh, you, sorry, yes, I said you ignore the loaded quality of a crossbow. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, do you have a bonus action that you would like to... No, the, the second, uh, the eight, the, the eight damage was my bonus action. Yeah, you can only take one bonus action on your turn. You can't take two bonus actions. Okay, so, yeah. okay, so the eight is not, uh, so it's only 17 damage then. Okay, no problem. Uh, he looks increasingly angry. He has now taken three crossbow bolts. No, two, cro two crossbow bolts. Two crossbow bolts. Three. Three. Because. Uh, no, I hit with. I, I missed with one and I hit with two. So, okay, hit, two. Hit with two. And then you didn't have the bonus oh. action one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so cool. So, uh, he, he took. Two right in the chest, and the armor bled off a little bit of it, but still, it's still stinging. Um, but he doesn't look like he's flagging yet. Okay. All right. So. It's my turn, right? Yeah, I'm That's done. Right. Yeah, I'm done. I'm going to short sword. Wow, nope. Never mind, I'm not. I'm going to print in to short sword. I'm going to wave it in his face. You're going to like air fence. <laughs> so you you <laughs> brandish your short sword at him. Yep. And he's like, he kind of looks at you. And then I'm going like... to run over here. <laughs> okay. Uh... And he can't do anything about it because I have the bubble feet. <laughs> okay. And then bonus action unarmed strike on this guy. <laughs> oh, uh, that's going to hit. Thank God. Uh, 
Well, at least you yeah. hit something. <laughs> Are you kind of like moonwalking over down to this yeah, one? Yeah, I, I moonwalked. Uh, and just kicked him <laughs> backwards. Okay, so yeah. he, uh, he goes... <gasps> uh, he, does, he doesn't like that. Did a spin kick in his face. Yep. Break his knees! <laughs> Right, it is That's Nancy's your job. Turn, and uh, he is going to send a. Ooh, what's he going to do? Yeah, on since I'm five feet. Okay, so I've always wondered this: if I am in melee with him, does he have disadvantage on long range? On range spell, spell yeah, attacks. Yeah, yes, he does. Yeah, yeah, he has a disadvantage because on all that, spell attacks. Because we have disadvantage on long range spell attacks if they're within melee range. Now, I don't think that applies to Sacred it doesn't, I'm just gonna... Yeah, because it's, no. a, it's a saving throw. So. Yeah, saving throws are not disadvantage. They can't be disadvantage. Yeah, saving throws aren't disadvantage. Oh, every, everyone with attack yeah, rolls. Yeah, because it's attack rolls. But I so, think you can uh, use your reaction, a unless, that's a, uh, unless that's a feat, you can so. use your reaction to attack. But I think that's a feat. That's a mage slayer. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, who's that to? To you, because you are up in his face. Oh, okay. Whee! You made it. You take half of that. So you take uh, three damage. Three radiant. Uh, Sacred Flame misses. Oh, it does too. Sorry. Is Sacred no, Flame a cantrip? Yes. Yeah. Then I don't then take it does no damage. The... Yeah. Sacred Flame is the cleric. Cleric cantrip. Yeah. Because with uh, the actual um, like the cantrips, you don't take any. The actual spells, you take some. Yeah, that's okay. You take no damage. Uh, so you you he goes to sacred flame you, and you like bob and weave out the way. Yeah, since your uh, your baldy head is so ugly, I bet you want to use the hat. Ooh. You assume <laughs> I look like that. Oh, All right, uh, now it is back to hmm. the captain's turn, and he is going to make uh, a another multi attack. Oh shit! And he's gonna make he's making that one against the guy he's been making all his attacks against. Ooh. I'm gonna assume made 27 hits. Yeah, well, oh, uh, yeah, well, you rage, you're, you're raging though. So. so that's uh, what is it? Uh, it's seven. Eight. Yeah, seven damage. Seven. What's is it? No, is that do you not round up? No, no, you round, round down. down. Round oh, down. Sorry. So yeah, so it's seven, seven slash. You still up? Yeah. Barely. <laughs> then he's going to take another swing at you. Okay, nice. that one I'm guessing misses. Nice. You're from crit to crit fail. Uh, so he is going to use his bonus action to attack again. Oh, oh my, my god. god! What the hell? Six more. Okay. I think, like, we're down to one health. And, I uh, am. oh, so lucky <laughs> that was his bonus action. Alright. Uh, next one is to. is the. And I can't believe you didn't call him Quoth. <laughs> Oh, that's clever. I should have. I'm oh, well. pretty sure I stole that from something positive. <laughs> okay. 
help help action again for Baldy over here. Okay, you have advantage on yeah. the your next attack. Oh, I'm gonna have it. In. Wait a minute! Didn't you reckless last turn? Yeah, the thirteen still misses. Okay. Yeah. I didn't bring it up because you crit me twice. And Fair. Thirteen missed. Fair. I don't think you have to reckless if you already have advantage. Yeah, but. Did you get bonus? He gets extra no. damage, I think. I was yeah. going to say bonus no. money. <laughs> <laughs> I get bonus. bonus damage. Alright, make your attack roll. Alright, it is me now. Mm -hmm. It is you now. I'm going to one hand it. I'm going to look at him and say, You're going to wish I was reckless. 20. That'll hit, yeah. He takes that seven, three, six, takes twelve damage, and then offhand, I'm gonna hit him with the blunt end, my hand axe in the. So in the uh, knee or in the nuts? No, in the knee. In the knee. All right, he's he's gotten wise to your game, well, and uh, he he deftly. Uh, steps his knee over your. All right, I guess my twelve misses. So. Yeah, it does. I, think... I have. Oh. All right. That's my turn. Okay. It is now uh, back to the... Yeah, I'm just pointing both my crossbow at the same time and just... I really want to pierce his face. I want to I wanna shoot... His face so bad. Alright, make your attack rolls. Uh, the 17 hits. Not the 15. Uh, the 15 also just hits. For 15 piercing damage. Okay, he is starting to look a little bit cut up now. He's, uh, he's, he's yeah, he's not looking, he's looking, uh... Not so angry, and he's starting to look a little sad, a little depressed. <laughs> yeah, just you know, a general ennui. Yeah. All right, it is uh, your you. turn. Um, and a... okay. All right, better than the crit fail. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Bonus action, unarmed strike. Oh my god. Yay, there it is. Alright, um, so. <laughs> if, you'd, if you'd waited. Uh, so what happens is you stab him, you bury your short sword up, and uh, as you do that, you do the, um, the, you know, the super high axe kick it comes down on top yeah. of someone's head. Um, oh. But it turns out that your sword was the only thing holding him up in the first place. So you've got your short sword buried in him, and then you axe kick him down, collapsing his rib cage. So his head is now impaled on the tip of your short sword, uh, and he is extremely dead. Yeah, I feel satisfied with that. <laughs> and then I'm just going to move back over here. All right. Uh, so. The captain sees this, and he is going to take one attack at... Uh, he sees that you're starting to look pretty rough, um, Bab, and so he's going to take one attack at you. 
and then he's going to take one attack at uh, he's going to he's going to try and put you down. I'm going to guess an 11 does not hit you. A 19 does. Ah, yeah, because advantage. Because advantage. Well, I'm down. Alright, so he sees you go down. He's going to make his second attack at the tabaxi who's been shooting him in the face. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Bring it. That 15 hit. Oh, shit, it hits. He's going to do 10 slashing to you. And he's going to use his bonus action to trip you. He's going to try and trip me, okay. Is that like a contested athletics, uh, acrobatics? Or dex? Give me a second. Okay, so you need to beat his DC of... 15 on a dexterity. Dexterity athletics or dexterity acrobatics, whichever. Okay. Alright. You are fallen. You are on your ass. So he, he cuts you and then he uses the distraction of the pain to kick your ankles together and knock you over. And now, he's going to ch- Does he have cheese? I would like cheese. I'm kind of hungry. Someone has uh, been checking out Acquisitions Incorporated Blood and Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> also, I hope he knows that I can totally catch up with him. <laughs> He's still oh, gonna run. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> I can actually. Run. Well, I can actually do that too because of this. Okay, but fine. You still have to use half your movement to get. You should still be able to catch him. I mean, he's not that fast. Yeah, I do have forty-five movement speed, and also I can dash. So. If I dash, I can get up to a hundred. I can do. Mm, oh, he is not that far. Sixty. I can do no, ninety. I, I can. I can it's actually do feet. ninety. I can actually do ninety. So yeah, he's he's running now. Uh, it is now the Raven's turn. Um. Raven's just gonna fly up here. Help action. <laughs> Cause why not? Alright, bad. Bad. Oh, yeah, hey, death save. It'll be fine if you don't roll one. See if I crit. I don't. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was nearly bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, it is now your turn, Mr. Tabax. Bengali. Yep, okay, so I use my half my sp movement speed to get up, and then I use my feline agility to burst over to him. And okay. then, remember me, or as I said, no, Rem remember these two, and I point my crossbows to him. You realize you have crossbows, you could have just shot him. Um, uh, he wow. was way above, he was beyond my 30 feet, so I would have been disadvantaged. Okay. Right. They both hit. For 13. Yep, another 13 damage. And then I'm gonna 
go around him, use my own my own movement speed to block him. Okay. And then I'm done. Alright, uh, it is now your turn, Anastasia. Okay, so... <laughs> um... Let's see here, how do I want to do this? I'm trying to sort out like the order of, of what I want to do things. Can I do my bonus action first? I have no problem with that. Okay, so I want to do bonus action, healing word. Okay. On the person who's dying next to me. <laughs> hey. All right. You don't have four hit points. And then I'm gonna. Ah, uh, and I believe you suffer one point of exhaustion. No. That's if I'm resurrected. Uh, ah, right. yeah. So it is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have that? That uh, you're a grave player, right? Yes, I am. But that's Don't only. You have that thing. That only stabilizes you. No, when you do uh the healing. When I'm down, oh, and then get yeah, that's right. I, yeah, that's max hit points. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, so I get seven. So you do get seven. Hells yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Or reminding right. yourself so you get yeah. more hit points. <laughs> As you're running by, I say, don't kill him. I need to break his knees <laughs> while he's alive. <laughs> uh, okay. And then movement up there, and then action. The 10 does not hit. It does not. Oh. No. Like, did he disengage oh, wait. before, or did he just run away? No. No, he knocked, I um, used, he I knocked used you on your my, ass and ran. Oh, yeah. He used my help, so that's advantage. So technically, that's a 14. Does 14 hit? Still doesn't hit. Nah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. And that's it for my turn. So, who okay, it is now it? his turn. Yeah. And he is going to please run. more both of you and please just run. run. Yep. Okay. Does a 15 hit? <laughs> it just hits. Oh my god, we just both hit. <laughs> All right, uh, roll for damage. So you. I, I, <laughs> we oh my it. god. <laughs> he's he's starting to to move a little bit uh, move a little bit wonky. He's not looking. At... Uh, all right, Raven. Okay. Uh. Raven's gonna fly up where where he went. Where did he go? Yeah, it's, uh, what's your dark vision? Sixty feet, right? Uh, Ravens should be that, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, so just move the Raven up to like the last place you saw him, and I'll I'll um reveal the space. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just let the raven dash because all he does is help anyway. It's fine. Raven's just going to stick to him. Okay, Mr. Barbarian, it's your turn. Oh. That. I stand up. That's half my movement. What's half of 25? Half of 25 would be, uh, what, 12? 12. 12 and a half? <laughs> 12. So how much movement do I have? You have 12. Alright. Just go 10. In, in all fairness, you did almost just die. Yes, but I'm very angry. There. Oh shit, I, I, can't you, I can't make you... I can't use my crossbows to make an opportunity attacks. I have to use my claw. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I, we'll, we'll I, use, I just, I, I just read it. Room. Yeah, I just read it that... Uh, 
Uh, you, you use yeah, your reaction to make right. one. Yeah, the, yeah, luckily, it's true. It has to be a melee attack. It can't be a um. Yeah, can't luckily, be spell for, attack. luckily for me, I have claws. Unless I think it can be if it's a um. If, if you, it's a reaction a spell. Yeah, you, if you take a feat, you can actually do a spell attack. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't use spells. To work right. after. Go ahead. I'm gonna dash. You're gonna use your, so you're gonna get your additional 25 feet? Yeah, I'll go here. Go ahead. Alright. Uh, Bengali, it's your turn. Oh no, I can't. Alright, that's my turn. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna use my longbow for this. I'm gonna still okay. wave. I'm gonna still wave my hand crossbows and uh, use my longbow. Okay. God damn it. That so you just because you're rushing, because you're like oh just hand crossbows gonna go for long range, right? Yeah. And you whip it out, and you just you just rush the shot, and it just fires wide, and, mm. and uh, pings off the stonework. Yeah, so I'm gonna just move after him with my movement. Back over now, here. your feline agility thing, is it an action to use that? Your reflex allows you to move with a burst speed. When you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed. Okay. So it's not... Okay, no, I'm just checking. Yeah. It's so not once a... you use this trait, you can't use it again until you move zero feet. Uh, so you have to I'm... take yeah. one yeah. turn with no movement to yes. use it again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Anastasia, it's your turn. Um, actually, hang on a second. Um, where is it? Where is it? I'm going to spend a key point and do Step of the Wind. So... I don't want to actually. I can actually attack him whenever I get up there. <laughs> okay, take your swing. Yes. Yep, that twenty-six will hit him. Nice. He's looking real rough. And then I'm just gonna. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, he is going to use his bonus action to chug a healing potion. <laughs> that bastard. Uh, so he heals up a little bit. And he is going to use his other two actions to dash out the room. Okay. Let me see how far he can get. Alright, he can get the rest of the way. Oh my god, nope, that does not hit him. <laughs> well, he, da not... he, he dashed, so... He can make an attack of opportunity. He he didn't disengage oh yeah oh yeah dashed. okay yeah he dashed he'd yeah, have yeah. to disengage. It's not a rogue. Oh. <laughs> hey bro right, and he 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 barrels through the door and uh you hear the sound of here's on the what running yeah, he okay. continues to run Let me just get at him. If he's within range, I can shoot him. Uh, 
Oh. That's what you. Well, Verb is confused, so Verb will stop. <laughs> Well, maybe I can try to uh, track him. I am a hunter. A hunter, so... That's all Burb does. Well, it's your decision, guys. Okay. Should we, are we gonna hunt him or are we gonna let him go? Right, I wanna break his knees. Run. You're not sure where he's gone at this time, from this distance. We were trying to get into this north tower. Why don't we just go explore the tower? If he catches up to us, we can just murder him then. Good point. Fair point. Fine. We can do that. All right, but before we do though, I go back to these guys over here and I break. <laughs> but he has all my arrows and he has all my bolts, the bastard. I want yeah, them back. He has all yes, his bolts. He has all your bolts stuck in him. In his face. Maybe, no, maybe, he, maybe he left a blood trail. That could be the, no, but the biggest travesty is not your bolts, it's the fact that he has working. <laughs> he has working knees. That's the travesty. Uh. Alright. Um, yeah. um, okay, so bolts. you you break their knees, and uh, would you do you want to check for a blood? Sure. Is there stairs up? There are. They are stairs going up. I would like to take the stairs up. Okay. I, I would like to you see if I would like to see if uh, this guy has a melee weapon. The thug. Yes. Yeah, he's just yeah. got a standard um, longsword. Well, longsword will work. I pick it up. Okay, you have one longsword. Is it a longsword or a short sword? Uh, it's a longsword. Okay. So I'm pretty sure. Strength. Uh, strength. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I need a I short have a hand sword. Axe. You need a short have two hand for axe. finesse. I have two yeah. hand axes, can I have one? Right. Uh, are you investigating? You said you wanted to check if there's a blood trail? Uh, yeah. Um, okay, when we get when roll... when we get to the hallway, I'm uh, checking for blood trails. Okay, you can roll uh, investigation or you can roll survival, whichever you prefer. Uh, that'd be survival. Okay. All right. Uh, this is very recent. Uh, and he was bleeding pretty heavily, so you it's pretty clear he went up the stairs. Guys, the little bastard went up the stairs with my bolts. I go up the stairs. So do I. I am going hey. up the stairs. Yeah, hey, you're coming. I'm going up the stairs. Okay.
What do we see when we get up the stairs? Let's just move you back to that layer. This is what you see. You see oh. three people standing right in front of you. The captain is standing back with a man with a bald head and a glowing star. They're all, they also seem to be doing something, or they were doing something, in the middle of the room until they were rudely interrupted. And it is eight o'clock, guys. So yep. would you like to end there? Yeah, sure. we're doing, yeah. That sounds like a good stopping place. Absolutely. We're playing for three hours, so it's good. Perfect. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I um, have hope, things to bring you back. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this evening session. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely. Was fun. I'm, a, I'm a fan of Mr. Barian or Mr. Barian. <laughs> uh, just so you know, you have explored two and a bit levels of a very large cult. Oh gosh. I had so many things, or I still have so many things, uh, in this castle. Uh, and we haven't even gotten to the midway point of this. So if you guys would like to continue this game at a later date, uh, that yeah. would be... Definitely. Definitely. If we survive this fight and uh, the other Athena and Carter joins up, we could do like several... We could maybe do like a month team uh, theme that you play for a whole month, like four sessions in a row, something like that. Yeah, man, whatever you want to do. Like, it's it's pretty good to go now. Like, I've got um, all of the encounters and stuff set up for the whole of this particular um, side adventure. So, anytime you guys want to play this, um, we can just jump back. Well, if you want to continue playing uh, next week and a uh, couple of uh, and uh, the coming weeks in September, you're free to do that. Um, the only issue is so next week will be no problem, and the weekend after that shouldn't be a problem. Um, the after that though, I'm going to be bouncing around a lot. And for I'm not going to have my laptop with me for about a month, so I'm going to be on Discord and tablet uh, for most of that time. Yes, and uh, if if, uh, if we that, so if, you, like I the can... next three weeks, next two weeks uh, is fine. After that, until beginning of October, the yeah, beginning of October, really, uh, I'm not going to have my stuff with me. Yeah, so uh, when you don't have your stuff with me, I can I take over and run water deep. Sure. This would give me right. a lot more weeks to prepare a lot of fun prepare. stuff for you guys. Yeah, I mean, if you like, going forward, we can alternate. Yeah, yeah definitely. That way, it... sort of, we get two and you know, you get two weeks and two weeks to put stuff together and think about things. Mm, absolutely. War Deep is so roleplay heavy. Jesus. But, but I like the roleplay heavy. So do I. Like I've tried, yeah, I tried yeah. to make the, the encounters here roleplay heavy. So, um, just just a bit of table talk. The, the, the chandelier kind of changed how the encounters were supposed to go. You will. When you claimed the <laughs> chandelier. So, that group, that first group, they were waiting to ambush you from that mezzanine level. Um, so as you came up the mm. stairs, they'd attack you in the back, and you would have you would have to range to battle them, and they would have half cover. So that was how that was supposed to go. Um, and then you were supposed to encounter uh, the other guys. When they started following you, there are actually four of them, and one of them went off to get the captain. Uh, and his buddy. So that was why you fought those guys. Because they 
you went and then you killed their guys and then they started sneaking after you and they waited underneath to ambush you when you came down from the tower. So that kind of changed, like you you attacking the chandelier kind of changed how I was how I went at those encounters. Well, that's uh, that's GM uh, for you. Players always mess with your GM. Oh no, but it was like it was. I had to really. It's been a while since I've DM'd and I had to. Oh, okay. So how would how is this going to work? So that was good fun. Yeah, um, it was. It, and yeah, it there's, was fun. there's a lot of there's a lot more to this castle, uh, which I think you will enjoy. There's there's mm. there's many layers. I'm looking forward to this castle adventure. Many knees broken. <laughs> yeah, you have uh, five knees. Uh, you have like ten knees to break. We're gonna get to the dragon, and you're gonna be trying to break the dragon's knees. No, it's gonna happen if I live. <laughs> that is, yeah, I was gonna say that is assuming that you make it out of this room. I have seven hip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, depending on how many of these that I kill, I can keep just getting temporary hit points, and I am effectively immortal. <laughs> yeah, I can just keep... Oh, wait, do they stack? I don't think they stack. Oh yeah, no, they stack. Oh, Each yeah. time I kill someone, I get hit points from that. Well, I get, it... six, hits, I get six hit points each time. Well, that's the thing... Because it's my wisdom mod plus my monk... Um, well... Level. That, well, that's the thing with the samurai <laughs> uh, fighter. He get when he uses his fighting spirit, he gets te five temporary hit points. But when he uses fight uh, the other, the second one, and he hasn't lost that uh, uh, the temporary hit points, they don't stack because it has to be higher. Uh, if if you get five uh, the first time and then you get six, then you get then you have six hit, uh, temporary hit points. It, nope. it, the way that this reads, it says each time you kill someone, you get temporary hit points from it. Well, I think they, they don't stack What's unless, uh, unless the, the temporary hit point is higher than the ones you already have, they don't stack. What's it called? Touch of death. Okay, hang on a sec. So my barbarian might die, and the Gale might die. Wait, what was what was? Gale yeah, you're in? using this as monk way of the long death. Yeah, what was Gale in that he was going to die? Uh, he's inside a frog. Yeah, he's inside a frog. He's getting oh, eaten. Oh yeah. You were fighting I five. About that. You're you're fighting five giant frogs. I forgot about Gale being eaten. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's so, well, uh, what it is, the way I'm going to adjudicate this, okay, is that you get that amount of hit points. Okay. So they don't, they do not go above your max hit points. So if you're at max, you can't, well, it just starts from wherever your hit points are. I'm going to guess it doesn't say up to your max. Let me get, let me do some, get, let me see if I can find a sage advisive on this. Okay. Uh, yeah, the dungeon dudes on YouTube are talking. Have a video about uh, temporary hit points. Yeah, uh, they have a very good ruling about uh, temporary hit points. Should watch that. Yeah, I will. Um... Sometimes they stack. Ah, here we go. RPG stack exactly this. I will do some um, Thank you guys sage for playing. advice in uh, Sword was... Coast. Oh, hey, there's some stuff in Sword Coast Adventures. I will have a look into this, uh, and okay. I will I will make a note to adjudicate this uh, on the next time that we play this. If so you like the video... Uh, uh, yeah. What do you reckon? Just... Hell, do you want to play us. mine next week or yours? Uh, we, you... have to tell the... uh, we could the uh, continue or with yours. Uh... We can just have a little uh, chat about it on Discord uh, when everybody's there. Uh, yeah. We could ask Car Carter and uh, Athena uh, what they uh, 
say about it. They, uh, Athena has to make a new character for your campaign too, so. Sure. But we can like talk the, uh, about that during the week and make a decision when we come close to the weekend. Awesome. Well, I have a backup character in case the Gale dies. Great. Okay. Good to know. Kobold Beastmaster. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, fucking okay. awesome. Uh, I will yeah. let you Vanilla will let Beast you have a garbage as a mount. It's gonna be a uh it's gonna be a giant wheel. Yeah, I did, did say I allowed I, I did allow everything from the wall and uh, yeah, every Vanilla Beastmaster is garbage though. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna use a revised. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can use the revised. I was gonna say a kobold beast monster hunter. Wow. Oh, gosh. That's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. Definitely. Because Revise, Revise is actually pretty well balanced and mm. fun to play. Yeah, and you also... Vanilla was just so garbage. Mm, yeah. Uh, in Tomb of Annihilation, I play on Saturdays. One of the the players actually playing the the PHP beast monster and and I got to play his character yesterday and it oh my god it sucks it sucks so bad <laughs> yeah I I almost killed him I did kill his pet though and I almost killed him and I almost died myself. The poor little beast fell 500 feet down a mountain. That's why you gotta get a flying one. Or a weasel. Mm, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, and then if my mom Those of you who are watching, uh, please, come back if you enjoyed the video, please press what? the follow button. Bard. And, a bard. Ooh. And, That'd be fun. What college? Uh, I will let you know. That will uh, allow Shadow? you to. Do you mean whispers? Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah. No. I liked whispers. The next videos are coming up. Like that was probably my favorite out of like the the new classes. So. Yeah, I like that he can talk to people. See you next week and happy gaming, for, guys. For like a minute and then just make him afraid of or anything.